All right, so here I am. I'm basically getting ready to scratch out the rest of this pad to make it level. So you see, just using the backhoe to scrape everything out. I've marked everything with white paint on those little dots in the uh, the the level, the laser level, and just using the the backhoe and the bucket to to get rid of the excess dirt, trying to level things out to where it's close. Um, I think this is about I don't know, maybe four inches four or five inches below what that patio is maybe a little deeper and uh, over here i'm just trying to kind of finish the define the edges get all the excess dirt out where all the equipment for the pool would go by shovel this is a pool builder that i tried to recover the project with super nice guy cornerstone pools he was just busy um here i am after i hit, this is where i stopped at lunch ran to the quarry um to get some some rock to go ahead and fill in for a french drain didn't really get any good video of them dumping it in the trailer, but uh, I ended up getting to know these guys really well. This operator was really good, uh, would load the trailer correctly so I could actually dump it, um, and he knew how to, how to put the right amount of material in there. But, you know, the quarry can be a daunting place if you're not used to that place because you don't know which stone to get. Uh, back here after lunch, um, starting to dig out a place for a French drain, try to make it a little bit lower to put the drain in. Um, and that way, this is the drain that'll go behind the wall. So here I'm using the backhoe, uh, getting rid of the material. Everything's sped up quite a bit here, you can see. That's how much dirt we've taken out thus far. Um, here's some, some rock put in place, putting uh, some French drain in as perforated. And then had to move it a little bit, redo some of it, glue it together, cover it up. Um, and this went behind the rock wall as I started placing the rocks, the boulders from the field, which you'll see right here in a minute. So I start bringing those over with the uh, the grapple or the not the grapple but the rock rake or whatever that thing the root rake and uh, moving those around just trying to get them all organized figuring out how to stack them I've never stacked a wall like this uh, this right here is kind of a real time video of me doing doing things these were way heavier than the tractor could pick up and not even close so I had to roll them over and push them and scoot them. To get them over there, but uh, you know, with the way we did it, it moved off of all the material. Uh, it's what these little tractors will do. But uh, and this is an EA uh, root break, a root grapple, I guess. EA, uh, everything attachments. Uh, this thing's all right. Um, I think they have some other ones that are flatter on the design, and they have the uh, two pieces up front. I think I would rather have one of those. Uh, it works okay. I've got a WR long diverter valve in the back. Um, that actually runs up to this thing that, you know, helps, you know, plant and everything. And for the smaller ones, I was able to just pick them up and kind of place them. But this big one, you know, I just had to push them around. I did have this tractor serviced, full fluids and everything before I started this project. Um, you know, they had to, I think it was before, I don't know if I had to before, but, you know, basically they rebuilt kind of part of the front axle. Tracker and a problem, and uh, you know, you don't maintain things. I do need them about the time for every battery on this truck, as it is now. I'm surprised that one's still running. You know, I've learned my lesson in maintenance is you know, if you wait till it's totally broken, you need to pay for it, you need to uh, maintain it kind of closer than you say maintain it. And um, those kind of things, but you can see I'm just kind of pushing and rolling this thing and you know, picking this thing over. Place. And this is one of the bigger props I have. I think it's two feet about this size, uh, close to it. But, uh, I don't know how much these things weigh because of my budget. Uh, but that's not the most of this. The uh, only thing I tracked was about the smallest you can use to do with skid steer over. I had no problem. So, as I pushed all this out of the way, kind of got it in place. Uh, this is kind of an end board now. And I uh, feel like which would have been my second day working on this. And as I got to the end of this part of the project, I had essentially decided to, uh, that I wasn't really happy with the way things were stacking when it started to rain. So I decided to kind of switch this as we went into this. Uh, because I just needed to go in and kind of give my mind a, a, minute, a minute to uh, focus on, okay, what's the best way to accomplish it. So that's when I came back out later the next day and finished this up, which is the way I'm kind of going in a 
close to go and hook it in and free and just kind of piece this thing in place and just couldn't have got a few of the things that we did for us. However, the whole chocolate seems to handle it. One of the things I noticed is, you know, if I didn't get the little small rocks out of the way, I'm going to be on the all the time. And I was kind of annoying, so I spent a lot of time getting the little stuff out of the way. And there's a lot of boulders here, I mean, this took me uh, several hours. I mean, I spent several hours on the track of running around here. So, uh, that's, uh, and, and, you know, I'm not complaining at all, because it's been several hours sitting on the track of doing stuff like this. is very enjoyable. So I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to do this stuff on the game and get it going. Now, this machine is big enough to use my gravity out there and take my rock up and get my fast. It's a good thing. 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 I think you'll see that it'll really stand out on the wall. Kind of the kind of aggressive. And it's just kind of doing it. And it's kind of doing it. With the small boulder stuff. And it's kind of doing it. And I'm sure somebody else would have probably had a better way to do it. But it's just the way I accomplished the job. And it's bad. As you can see, though, I mean, I got, a, I got the whole tag kind of right away. I mean, this is my bad for any tree. Um, got the job done. And, uh, kind of accomplished to go and go to the wall to hold that bank back there because I didn't want it to drop in. And um, so I just remember that I'm kind of giving up that I'll take a drink and uh, I'll come back later and do this. So here's what I ended up with the, the day. Uh, got a few more in place, got that boulder in place, and uh, kind of parked the track there and gave it kind of call the quits.